Hello everyone! Uh, thanks for coming by and checking out my video. Today I want to go through uh, a flip through of June in my journal. This is a bullet journal slash Fobonichi slash journal slash smash. Uh, you name it, it's all in here. Um, my forward planning is done in that little uh, Lily Pulitzer pocket planner. But that's just for appointments and stuff. Everything else, it all just goes in here. So let's get started. Uh, this is a Loistrom 1917 taupe with the dotted. Uh, in the front cover, I have a, an envelope that I pasted in, and I just keep stickers in there. Um, that's just a postcard I taped in. This is my index. I've only used, you know, like part of one page, and there's like four pages of this. Um, this is just a, a piece of scrapbook paper that um, I just liked at the time and decided to just make a, a like a cover page for June. So there's my June log and task list. I started out with a gratitude thing and I only did a few days and then just gave up on it. I started out with a tracker, did about I think what 11 days, gave up on that. I didn't even fill out every day for everything. Then I've got um, my list of bills and um, I just check them off when they're all done. Then there's brainstorming of stuff, uh, the local minor league baseball team schedule. This was this big spread I did, four pages worth. I wanted to write down what I ate every day for a month, but yeah, you can see how well I did on that. That was a waste of paper, but oh well. Um, Couch to 5K challenge, never did that, but it's here and I've got a tab on it, so I can always come back to it. I have high hopes. <laughs> uh, my first weekly spread. Um, I just started it on Memorial Day and just went from there. So it's got a little bit of May in it, but not much. Um, more brainstorming of my daughter's AP bio trip and what she, we needed to do. And I took notes when we went to the meeting. That's my first daily spread. This um, May 28th just took up two days. It was my day off. It was a bunch of stuff that I got done that day. So I put my list of bullets of stuff that needed to get done and then just wrote little blurbs about different things that happened throughout the day. Um, this is back when I was color coding. Each person has a different color so if I journaled about that person I would write it in their, that person's color so I could easily see you know if I wrote about someone that day. I've stopped doing that but I think I would definitely want to get back to it. Um, like currently I'm just using my black Lamy and I love the pen but everything's black and it's just getting really boring so I think I want color back then I, I print off pictures I use I have an LG pocket printer but I use the Polaroid paper uh, I prefer it it's uh, got the adhesive on the back and it's a thinner paper so it uh, doesn't bulk up as much and it's a lot more flexible so I like those there's a smaller day where I, you know not as much stuff got done or I just didn't feel like journaling that day. Sundays I usually just don't write much. Memorial Day, I probably could have spread this over two pages but I just stuffed it all on one so there's a whole bunch of pictures stuffed in there. A little bit of journaling. We had a cookout. <sighs> Tuesday a lot more happened. I did what I'll do is I'll just sort of brainstorm um, what I need to do that day. Instead of just sitting and staring at little boxes trying to figure out what do I need to do today, I'll write a note to myself and I saw this on um, uh, Planner Perfect and Miss Vicki B. They, do, they both do this type of thing and um, it just really works well for me. So I just kind of write myself a note and it just makes it all start pouring out. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta do this. And as I write those things down, I remember more than if I just stare at a list of bullets. So then after this is written out, then I make my list. And then throughout the rest of the day, I just journal about what happened and I add little things. Here's a list page, my summer bucket list. I've not gotten much done. I need to get out and do things. There's another day. This is a typical day. Lots of color from different people. My bullets, stuff I got done. Um, just you know there's more bullets uh, my note to myself whatever 
is my daughter uh, was practicing um, lettering with brush pen and I told her to do a page in here. Then there's my menu and grocery list just right on the back. Don't skip a page for anything. Um, there's another day. And here starts the party that we were brainstorming back um, here somewhere. I took lots of pictures so I just stuck them all in there and then I just journaled around them. And this took up several pages. Uh, this is a couple pages of brainstorming of things I need to do when I move my office into uh, the bedroom when my daughter moves out for college. Um, just more stuff. This is when my daughter went to the Outer Banks. Um, I knew she wouldn't scrapbook stuff herself, so I uh, just sort of did it for her. So every day she would send me pictures or she'd post pictures on Facebook and I would print them off and put them in here. So I have a record of everything she did. Uh, another weekly spread, less decoration, less stickers. I just don't get into it much anymore. So this is her first day in the Outer Banks. So I have my list of things I need to do, my note to myself, a little bit more journaling. And then I just put all the pictures that she sent me. And I kind of, I would make a note of the stuff I knew what it was. And little notes that if she would text me about something, I would write a little note about it. But, you know, now we have this record of it. Even if she never puts her pictures in the scrapbook, at least I have record of it. And she can always come and look through this. It's another day. This is uh, the gazebo thing that we had up. It was It's like one of those pop-up tent things that we'd had up for the party. We never took it down. And we had that big windstorm when uh, Tropical Storm Colin came through. And the winds came up and put the tent on top of our house. So, yeah, it's destroyed, so we had to figure out how to get it off the house. It was stuck in the trees, and we had, that was destroyed. This was her second day in the Outer Banks, and they went to the beach and did a bunch of stuff. It was a great trip. They, It was with her um, AP Bio class, and she graduated this year, but they still did the, the trip after graduation, and it's fantastic. Now, when she got back from the trip, she gave me a bunch of postcards. So what I did was I went... I went back and I found the pages where the postcards would fit in, like this. these pictures were taken at this place, so I just stuffed it in there. That's a holographic one, that's pretty cool. This day I went walking, I I wanted to just, you know, keep doing this every week, but this was like the only time I did it. But I, what I did was, I did it on RunKeeper and I took a screenshot of the finished walk and then uh, I just printed that out as a picture and put it in there. This was, I don't know if you can hear the thunder. We have another storm going on now. <clears throat> Her third day, they went canoeing and went Cape, to Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. That's this one. She said it's the tallest one in the United States, second tallest in the world. So that was pretty cool. Um, they had to climb to the top of it. I, it would have killed me. There's no way I could do that. Uh, but yeah, they had a lot of flooding from the tropical storm too. Um, then, you know, just another day, my bullets, my notes, my journaling, and then her pictures. Uh, they went canoeing on the Alligator River that day. This is, there's actually an alligator in there. You can barely see it, but she was like, there really is an alligator. We saw it. Um, more pictures. This was a big day for them. She took a lot of pictures. This was on the dunes there, if you've ever been to the Outer Banks. I've never been, but I, I feel like I've been with the story she's told. Another day, this I finished off some uh, tea, which I really like, so I stuck them in here so I'd remember that I like those. This was her last day, so I did a lot more journaling, her last picture. This when we went, I went geocaching with my other daughter, and she got some serious poison ivy. You can actually, you can see it, it's in there. After I went back and looked at the picture, I was like, we should have realized it was covered in poison ivy, but whatever. <laughs> She suffered for it. I, I'm, I feel so bad for her. She's allergic to it, and oh, it was, it was awful. She had these huge bandages all over her legs, and I felt so bad. But <clears throat> we've not been geocaching since. We, I maybe wait till the fall or winter. I don't know. Um, uh, the Tony Awards were that night, and I, I listed out everything that Hamilton was 
uh, nominated for. They had, I think it was 16 nominations. Yeah, 16 nominations. And they won almost everything. Um, leading actress did not go to her. That one went to um, the woman in The Color Purple. But, I mean, that's obvious. I mean, as far as I know, that was an amazing performance. What I saw on stage, anyway. And three of the supporting actors were up for the same award, and one of them got it. Um, that was also the day of the Orlando shootings. So I, I, uh, I journaled a little bit about that. <clears throat> My uh, my son is gay, and this, I mean, it really hit home with us. It was it was very scary, um, you know, it, that it very well could have been him in that situation. And so that was, it was scary. Uh, this, the, then Thursday, my daughter got her license. Now, see here, I've got Monday and Tuesday, very short days. I didn't even journal for Wednesday, so not a whole lot going on that week, I guess. At least I didn't, like, I didn't do any bullets. I didn't do any journal or, um, like, to-do lists. So this was probably a very unproductive week. But she, we got her license on Thursday. And, um, you know, I didn't journal. I didn't say anything about Friday. So I just skipped right to Saturday. Saturday, apparently I had a lot to talk about. Sunday was Father's Day. I didn't say too much <clears throat> there. My husband had to work, but... I went shopping and got my daughter a backpack. It's another uh, weekly spread. More journaling. So just more of the same. I have really horrible handwriting, but I don't know. It doesn't much matter. I've got a... And I have a fountain pen, and that makes it even a little bit messier because it's just... It's a messy pen to me. <laughs> I guess I switched it up here for some reason to write. Maybe I think it was when I got these new pens. I think that might be what it was when I switched to using those for a little bit. Uh, this is when I got my new Lily Pulitzer planner. That one right there. Uh, <laughs> tell myself to stop spending money. Didn't help. Uh, but we did build up enough money in the bank. I got my house paid off. Of course, that emptied out my bank account, and now my Suburban broke down, like, I think the next day or the day after, so now it's in the shop. Got to figure out how I'm going to pay for that, but at least the house is bad. There's the budget pages, and then um, more menu and grocery list, more journaling. This is when we took my daughter up to Berea, Kentucky for her summer connection. She's going there in the fall. So we stopped at the Lookout Mountain, or Lookout stop on Clinch Mountain. And I just took pictures all along the way and just put them in there. This is when we got to Berea and what we did that evening. And this is that day we dropped her off at the college. They had stuff for the parents and family to do alongside the children. It was like you know, we didn't do stuff with them. They did their own thing. And then the parents were supposed to do another whole uh, thing. But uh, we just didn't want to be cooped up inside all day. It was a beautiful day, and Berea has so much to look at. So we were like, nope, sorry, we're going to go explore. So we did. And uh, one of the first places we went was Weaver's Bottom Craft Studio there in Berea. If you are ever in Berea, you have to go to this place. They have they're right on a corner uh, across the street from the visitor center and this lady it's she just she's fantastic we just fell in love with her immediately I had to take a picture of her with my kids she's fantastic but this is um, a flyer we picked up at the visitor center this was just all the stuff going on that day just in town it had nothing to do with the college this was just stuff happening there in the artist district and um, it's just, it's fabulous. If you are really into arts and crafts and that sort of thing, I really recommend you stop through Berea, Kentucky. But this is, yeah, this was a sign for the uh, Old Town Artist Village. This was from the, the visitor center is in the, <clears throat> the old depot. They had cats everywhere. There's all over the place. They have a bunch of sculptures all over town. 
a lot of them are hands. Apparently it was a one year at the college. This was a project or something. I'm not sure, but uh, they're all different. Um, I We didn't get pictures of all of them either. There's still a whole bunch we didn't get. I'm going to try to get them next time we go. This was a card from one of the other places we went where um, this artist has her stuff. I love this watercolor style. This, this is just my thing right here. I love it. This is one of the plaques about the Daniel Boone Trail. Found a place selling Simply Southern t-shirts, so I had to get another one of those. I love them. Um, after her thing was over, we finally got to meet up again, and we went to um, one of the residence halls, and uh, we got to tour that, so that was nice. They have teeny tiny rooms, but for freshmen anyway. But I think she'll be okay. So she's got some shots of everyone walking around. This is a postcard from the college. That's her and her boyfriend. This is one of the places there. Uh, Draper Hall is supposed to be a copy of Independence Hall. This is the fountain. Uh, this is the chapel inside Draper Hall. It's just beautiful. It reminded me of um, uh, a, uh, an abbey that we'd seen in England. It's really beautiful architecture and went those windows. And these lamp, the lamps, ugh, it's just so pretty. It's very unexpected in this, and in, it's inside this building. So, but that was great. And uh, as we were leaving, I, I wanted them to get a picture of me on the porch of the old Boone Tavern Inn. I mean, just like the Southern Bell porch. It's just beautiful. So, like, I had to get a picture of that. It was covered in pink flowers. And that gets us to July. So, yeah. I guess I will do another flip starting with July sometime. But thanks for coming by and checking it out. Um, if you if you want to know about anything in here that you saw or want to know about you know more about it, let me know. Um, but thanks for coming by, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.